Hello Oilers, this is your Colonel speaking and ladies and gents we have new events as well as our new winter background so that's nice as well but uh, let's go to our mailbox really quickly and see what we have here so during the event log on to get uh, so we're going to get a super wishing coin and 150 gems every day which means it is the uh, wishing fountain event so there we go, let's see, first of all, I have a little bit of business to take care of here. So we're going to, we're going to do that really quickly. Not bad. Alright, so there we go, and what do we need to do here? Oh yeah, we've got a free heroic summon, so let's get that out of the way. Alright, so there we go. So let's move on to the events here and see what we have. Now, uh, let's see, so Idler's Sweet House uh, picked up 25, uh, just just over 2,500, I guess, gym, uh, donuts. So, uh, let's see. Uh, and, and really, I don't really need anything except maybe, maybe, maybe orbs. So we're going to pick up all the orbs we possibly can. There we go. And maybe... A scroll or two. There we go. Heroic scroll. Very nice. And that. And like I said, as a free-to-play player, that's about as high as you're ever going to get. Uh, 25, 2500. So keep that in mind. And save up all those crystals because. Uh, so I have 220 crystals so far. But uh, save those up. And eventually, one of these days, you'll be able to get, as soon as you get 1,100 of those crystals, you put, you can get one of these big old orange artifacts. That's what I would save up for if I was a free-to-play player, which I mostly am. But anyway, there you go. That's my advice. So, next up, we've got Lucky Package. So, let's see. This is 1999, which isn't a really bad price, honestly. Uh, the last one for the Thanksgiving package, it was like twenty nine ninety nine, I think. And uh, people, everyone was pretty upset about that, including myself. But uh, this I might actually pick up. I don't know, we'll see. What is this? Let's see, you get a double token. You can obtain, let's see, you can obtain a double reward at the Lucky Wishing Fountain event take effect automatically upon the purchase okay hmm valid during the lucky fountain of the current session only all right so so i guess you do you get double the number of spins or something like that i don't know we'll check that out but then you got uh, you got 30 heroic scrolls you got five profit orbs and 1888 gems so i don't know for 1999, it may be worth it, and I may pick it up, but we'll see. I guess I guess it depends what the uh, wishing fountain prize is, doesn't it? So we'll see. So let's move on. We got uh, the value packages here, so you can pick up a, an Ada copy with the 99.99 package. Uh, of course, you're also getting super wishing coins and. Wishing coins and gems as well. The wishing coins, of course, will help you in the wishing fountain event. And let's see, we got uh, for the 69.99 package, you can pick up an a Unimax 3000 copy here, uh, as well as super wishing coins, wishing coins, and gems. And then for the 49.99 package, who is this? It looks like Ormus. Is that Ormus? Yeah, you can get a new uh, limited Ormus skin here for the for with the forty nine ninety nine package. It is the Headmaster of Magic Academy. There are there are two must nots you shall remember at the at Headmaster Ormus's Magic Academy. One, you must not learn ancient magic privately. Two, you must not trick and hide the Headmaster's hat. So there you go. Okay, 
So it gives you 5% uh, control immune, 3% attack, and 5% on your heal effect. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Pretty nice skin. Pretty cool looking. So that's with the $49.99 package, and then you have your regular packages down here at the bottom. And uh, so now we're going on to the Wishing Fountain event. So we're gonna get, we're gonna go here, and, and I will remind you as well, you have another 19 hours to do your Idler's Sweet House. So make sure you do that in the next little while. Don't forget to spend those. I've done that before, and it's not pretty. So anyway, Wishing Fountain event. Uh, so. If, for the first few here, let's see, you're going to get, for your first 200 spins, you're going to get uh, wishing coins, uh, sorry, super wishing coins and profit orbs. And uh, then when you get to 300 spins, uh, you get a total of uh, six, well, no, eight profit orbs, along with um, eight super wishing coins an almost copy and five glorious relics and uh, yeah that's the event I guess so so I don't know if this if this lucky package is really worth it uh, you can obtain the double reward at the lucky wishing fountain event so I'm, I'm not sure what that means I think what that means is basically that your spins will count double, I guess. So you can do a two times completion with this, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's worded really odd oddly, and uh, I don't know exactly what that does. So anyway, I guess if you really want two almost copies, then you can get you can get that uh, that lucky package. But, um, what else? Yeah, you can, and you can do four completions total for this event, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, you can do four completions, and uh, of course, you will get all the rewards four times that time, that way. Oh, okay, oh, here we go. Yeah, here's the, here's the lucky Wishing Phantom event. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, so... So this is for Super Wishing Coins, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so so for every 50 times you draw at the Wishing Fountain, you're going to get uh, 500 Monster Souls and 2,000 uh, Magic Dust uh, for every 50 times you spin at the Wishing Fountain. So that's nice. And then... Uh, for every 10 times you spin at the Super Wishing Fountain, you're going to get 100, uh, 100, what is it, monster, monster promotion stones, I guess, what are those called? Monster materials, chaos stones, okay, and 2,000 dust. So, there you go, so, so then this is the, uh, the double reward, so I guess, what is this? Yeah, so I guess if you buy this, if you buy this double token, then uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get double rewards for all of these uh, wishing fountain things here. So I guess that's the deal, and uh, it may be worth it. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I don't know if I'm going to buy that or not. We'll see. It's tempting. It's a little tempting to buy this, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, what else we got? We got the shelter mission, so let's check that out. Uh, so for the fortress faction, you can pick up a, 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 a seer here. And of course, she is an assassin, so you're going to need fortress assassins to pick her up. And um, as you can see, I don't have any right now. Uh, I believe Roy is the only fortress uh, four-star assassin. So, uh, so if you want the Shia copy, Shia copy, you're gonna have to hunt a bit for that, um, because she, you know, you have to get four Roys basically in order to pull her out here. And then, of course, you have to throw in a five-star hero as well. 
and um, and basically what you're doing here is just um, you're taking your five star hero out of your collection and putting it into your bag as a sh as a seer basically does that make sense so uh, so it's it's generally worth it it frees up space in your bag as no, right, sorry not your bag in your collection and puts it in your bag and then you can take it back out for the heroic miracle that's coming up probably next week or maybe the week after I don't know we'll see so there you go so that's Shia for the fortress faction and of course you get two pieces of orange four star gear as well and then for the for the shadow faction we got Jora here and she is a um, she is a what are I'm blanking here. A, a wizard, a mage. Yeah, she's a mage. There we go. She's a mage. So you're gonna need mages here, and of course I don't have any right now. But the four-star mages for the shadow faction are just the uh, the death sworn. So he's the only mage for that for that faction. So again, if you want to get Jora, you're gonna have to kind of get lucky. Uh, get four death swarms together uh, as well as your five star hero here so you can see I fused up a death swarm already here and I fused up a Roy there as well so I've used up all my four star heroes here that I need for this event but anyway uh, we can still get them we'll see and then uh, for the forest faction you got your Valkyrie here Valkyrie, she's she's fallen off recently. She's not as powerful as she used to be, but she is. Uh, she can still be handy. And of course, she's a ranger, so you're going to need four-star rangers. And I believe uh, there are only, I believe, uh, what's her name here? This chick, this archer chick, is the. She's the only four-star ranger as well. So a lot of rare uh, shelter heroes this time around. And uh, so we need, so we need one more uh, of her to get our Valkyrie copy. But uh, so there's Valkyrie, and of course you need a a five star forest hero as well. And lastly, for the regular faction heroes, you got a King Barton here for the Abyss faction, and uh, he is a warrior. And there are several warrior uh, four stars for the uh, fortress uh, for the abyss faction. These two, and uh, Lemagiton, I guess, is also he's the other uh, the other f abyss warrior. So you shouldn't have any problem getting King Barton here, because there are plenty of warrior four star warriors in the abyss faction. And of course, you need your five-star hero as well to get your King Barton out. So I don't really have any of these uh, ready to go yet, but uh, but I can I should be able to get pull together some summon some four-star the, the correct four stars here um, before the end of the event. And of course, if you get all four regular faction heroes, you basically uh, get two full sets of four star orange gear with those as well so that's really nice uh, especially for the grey dwarfs blessing which we'll talk about momentarily but uh, next up for the uh, for the light and the dark factions here you're gonna you got your Michelle and your uh, sleepless here and of course these these are very expensive I, gen I, gen I generally don't recommend picking these up uh, especially because these aren't like top tier light and dark heroes at, by any means, and you ha you basically have to spend you basically have to trade two uh, regular five star faction uh, he heroes from the right from the dark faction, for example, to get your sleepless, uh, as well as two thousand gems. So it's just a really steep price, in my opinion. Uh, you really don't want to trade two five stars for a single five star even if it even if they are food heroes um, that you're trading it's just not a good idea 
uh, unless of course you know you really really need this uh, a dark or a light hero for the upcoming uh, heroic miracle of course and then you know I guess you gotta do what you gotta do right but um, but I do think it's a bit of a waste to toss in your two uh, five star heroes for a single and you're only getting a single five star hero in return so anyway that is the light in the dark fictions and lastly we have the great dwarf's blessing and this actually goes for two weeks so you don't need to do this all this week and basically you can take that 4 star gear that you got in the shelter mission and turn it into 5 star gear for the right price of course and you can turn your 5 star gear into a 6 star set and uh, lastly you can turn a 6 star set into a uh, a class specific set warrior sorry you got the priest suit, you got the minstrel suits for rangers, war master suits for warriors assassin suits for assassins and weavers suit for mages so those are the class specific sets and they're very nice if, when you can pick them up I recommend picking them up when you can um, and other than that that's all of the events right now so here we got this exchange gift thing is still uh, not active as far as I'm, I'm aware but anyway, so there we go, and uh, what else, I guess, let's look at our settings really quickly and just see if anything changed. Oh, I bet, I bet Michelle got new stats, didn't she? Let's see, got server merging, UI for winter, almost limited skin, Removed completion limit for Lucky Wishing Fountain. Okay, yeah, so... So last time around, I think you could only do the Lucky Wishing Fountain, like, uh, ten times or something like that. There was a, a limit on how many times you could do it. But this time you can do it as many times as you want to. And, uh... And, of course, if you purchase the Lucky Package, you'll get double rewards for the Lucky Wishing Fountain event. So that's kind of nice. And then, uh, it looks like they added uh, bios for Michelle, Audio One, and Baby. So that's pretty cool. So if you're into those hero biographies, they're usually pretty lame, but uh, if you want to go check those out, uh, they have new ones now for Michelle, Audio One, and Baby. So there you go. And that's it, everybody. So anyway, I am your Colonel signing off. Thank you so much for joining me for uh, the show and remember as always that karma can be a real bitch sometimes but she is a lovely one isn't she anyway everybody i'll see you all in the next video this is your colonel signing off goodbye <laughs>